Well, I think that it's time to, to, to start this uh, session, welcome session. And we have a lot of people connected and a lot of attendees. I present myself, my name is Almu Farina. It is a great pleasure <clears throat> as president of the International Acoustic, Eco Acoustic Society to welcome you. I share my screen. And this Congress has been organized by the University of Udino and by the International Society of Ecoacoustics in June 2020. But this has been postponed, as you well know, you know very well, by pandemic problems. Before to illustrate the work agenda of this very intense three days, I would like to introduce the pro rector of the University of Urbino, Professor Pieri Fusi. I stop my, my, my video and I ask to Professor Fusi to spend some words <laughs> for us. Ciao Almo, buongiorno. <laughs> Good morning to everyone, welcome. Uh, I bring you my personal greetings and uh, of our rector Giorgio Caccagnini. And uh, it's a great pleasure and honor to see so many particip participants connected here from all over the world for this event. Uh, as uh, Almo said, I know that the Congress should be held in the present here at Urbino, at my back since last year, but unfortunately, the pandemia is uh, still present. And so has in many other cases, the organizers have been forced to schedule the activity online. So to have the opportunity to share the new result and information and uh, has in all the fears keeping alive the, uh, the community. And it, that in this case, I think is uh, really active and uh, growing. I only imagine the efforts done to organize it all uh, the event. So I want to thank the, the organizers, mainly uh, the professor Almo Farina, an eminent member of our university, the University of Urbino, that despite the persistent pandemic uh, situation, did not want to give up and manage to arrange the event, although in, although in a virtual way. And also, uh, I'd like to say hello to Susan Fuller that I have the honor to uh, meet in Urbino a couple of years ago. During this long this time, uh, we, we get used to do everything online, classes, daily work meeting, and so why not uh, uh, international congress? However, uh, I guess that in this case, two aspects make the, the situation worse. Uh, first, I know the time zone forcing <laughs> probably many of you to wake up early or to sleep late uh, to follow all the Congress and sure the many interesting conferences. But probably the main reason, in my opinion, uh, is that you cannot spend uh, uh, your time here in Urbino moving between the, this beautiful uh, uh, town and unique having Renaissance buildings a uh, narrow street uh, and where you <clears throat> could uh, uh, work uh, tasting the, the Italian food, the wine, uh, and uh, socializing, discussing, and uh, so on. <clears throat> so this probably is a, 
the uh, lack of to uh, to cannot uh, attend a congress in uh, in the presence and uh, for example to urbino is a, an university sound so to to be in the team of the congress you could hear the sound of uh, the student around the, the the city well anyway i know that uh, the organizers have made all a force trying to build a comfortable and uh, stimulating atmosphere and uh, looking at the program it will be i hope that uh, <coughs> i'm sorry the aim of the congress to bring together scientists natural resource managers industry and artists to explore the ways that sound can deepen our understanding of the environment it is successful and that this way to listen to our planet becomes more and more important providing new opportunities to monitor the ecosystems giving information of their health thus extending the scope of this fascinating science of acoustic and bioacoustic. I hope also that this way will be a source of an important stimuli for all of you. I want to thank all the speakers and participants that are taking part, and once again, the organizers for their strong efforts. Uh, I wish you pleasant and productive days of study and research, and so good works and uh, thanks again to, to Almo. Thank you very much, Vieri, uh, 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 for this uh, introduction and uh, welcome. <clears throat> well, uh, I have, uh, I have uh, posted some images of Urbino during your speech. And, but uh, before <clears throat> starting the work, I would like to express my <laughs> most affectionate dark memory to Stuart Gage, friends and colleagues. Here we have a, a short but intense video prepared by Bernie Krause. Hi. This is Bernie Krause with some reflections on the remarkable life of Stuart Gage, a friend, a colleague, and a mentor. There are not enough words of praise in my vocabulary to capture all that the connection to Stuart Gage meant to me. Outstanding were the steadfast qualities of benevolence, kindness, and egoless support for his students, attributes that infused every moment and every project on which we worked together, moments that were among the most inspiring I've ever known. I'm grateful to have known Stuart and for all the light that he contributed to this world. Thank you, dear friend, from the bottom of my heart. Your work is done now. Fly away home. This is Bernie Krause. Well, <clears throat> thank you, Bernie. And I would like to make a, a very short presentation of the <clears throat> International Society of Ecoacoustics, just for the attendees that are here for the first time. So the aims of the society can group it into six main activities, general dissemination, conservation, engineering, archiving, and education. General, to promote a scientific approach to the study of ecoacoustics, to create a network of, between scientists and students to facilitate the exchange of information about theories and tools in ecoacoustics. It is important the dissemination of the idea and research. We try to promote the regular meetings like this, workshops and seminars. We try to promote publication and proceeding book series and journal to support collaboration with other scientific disciplines 
with links to acoustic ecology and conservation biology. In the field of conservation, to work with other organizations to use ecoacoustics to help our achieve ecological integrity in the world's disappearing ecosystem. Finally, to encourage acoustic research projects on endangered species and threatened ecosystem and to promote the conservation of acoustic diversity and natural soundscape. In engineering field, promoting interdisciplinary approaches in the development of data acquisition, acquisition and analysis tool to bring in the data competencies in microelectronic signal processing and information technology. And to promote new approaches to data analysis, to bring it together competencies in big data and data mining, in archiving, to promote the collection of archiving of natural sounds. And finally, but not less important, education, to promote acoustic public outreach through new educational format and science-based sound art across the widest possible range of disciplines. This is a very uh, synthesis. You can read more on our website. And this is the, the people that have supported the society during these uh, years. Uh, Jerome, Denise, Susan, Gianni, David, Bernie, Diego. And I have to thank the Organizing Committee, Nadia Piretti, Gianni Pavan, David Monacchi, Gino Tarozzi, and Giusy Buscaino for by supporting this not easy <laughs> organization meeting. You know that uh, this is not the first meeting in Ecopolitics. It is the fourth in France in uh, 24th. In the United States, in East Lansing, organized by Stuart Gage, in France by myself uh, and Jerome Swell, no, especially Jerome Swell and myself, and Australia, <clears throat> in Brisbane, by Susan Fuller. You know that uh, Ecoacoustics is uh, growing very well in this year. And I have just uh, uh, a very simple and approximate statistic about the number of uh, paper that they use in the title Ecoacoustics and is growing very well. And also for soundscape ecology, it's growing very well. But I would like to spend very few words about ecoacoustic competencies. Ecoacoustic competencies, what is our goal? What is our <clears throat> uh, focus? Investigating the ecology of species, of course but also the college of communities and linking sound with landscape ecology and of the, uh, the investigating on human intrusion like noise pollution climate changes effects etc the long-term monitoring the biodiversity assessment environmental rehabilitation integration with humanities and art conservation issue. As you can see, there are a lot of competences and we, we have a lot of, of, of work to do in the next uh, decades. But of course, we, we need strategies, no strategies, no possibility to develop. Right? So we have to consolidate epistemological aspects, developing theories and semantics. This is one of my role, preferred role reinforce big data computation capacity or devel and or developing dedicated free software like the uh, the the new sonoscape uh, free software that will be presented to to you uh, in in the in the close future to develop long term surveys and we we need to increase the knowledge transfer with other environmental disciplines we have to transform ecoacoustic in, in educational universal tools. And we have to encourage online symposium workshop like this. So the pandemic crisis is an opportunity for us to meet each other on the computer, but to connect people for all the world. I present some uh, evidences in 
in few in few seconds. Um, we have a, a lot of new opportunities, editorial opportunities. There are <clears throat> there is the Journal of Acoustics that is sponsored by our society, and it's a cheap journal and open access cheap journal. We have also a big interest in from frontiers in ecology and evolution. That is one of our sponsors. We have also a journal of military ecology. Of course, it's a, it's a, it's a second class journal, but it still exists for a long time. And finally, we have a book, uh, book, book series, new book series in frontiers in ecoacoustics from Springer. Well, so I, I ask you to help these editorial uh, projects to grow up and not, not to disperse in any other <coughs> journal, but all is fine, of course. All these journals require an impact factor. And this is a major problem for, for our career, but in some, we have to start in some way for this journal. Finally, I have to thank, uh, on behalf of the International Society of Ecoacoustics, the University of Urbino for providing uh, funds for the website. The wildlife acoustics um, that is always present, and in, in, in a few seconds, I, I, will, I will post a video short video of three minutes, uh, um, um, uh, excuse me, uh, after the Jerome uh, Swear plenary. I'm so, excuse, excuse me. I have so many things to remember contemporarily to maintain under control the situation. Well, uh, our sponsor uh, uh, are also Frontier Ecology Evolution, the Journal of Mutiny Ecology that accepted to, to publish the, uh, the abstract and the Springer. Finally, I, I have to inform you that in this Congress, we will have four plenaries, six, uh, 60 presentations, seven posters, uh, shorter presentation. We have more or less 434 attendees from 30 countries around the world. And our chairman will be uh, this session, morning session, Diego Luisa, 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 excuse me, the afternoon, Gianni Pavan, and the other days, Jerome Suer, Giuse Buscaino, David Monacchi, and myself at the end of the story. I will chair the plenary speaker, all plenary speakers. So I think that now we have a few minutes before the plenary talk of Jerome 